All right, guys, let's get your landing page and email workflow set up. A landing page is typically created on your website provider or through your CRM like MailChimp, Flowdesk, or ConvertKit. The purpose of a landing page is to collect contact information, specifically email addresses, by offering a free resource of some sort. This could be as simple as enter your information to get my weekly newsletter, or you could offer a free downloadable guide or resource. So today we're going to get yours set up. Step one, we are going to customize a CNC marketing guide to offer as a free download. Next, we'll create a free landing page in ConvertKit. After we get that set up, I'll show you how to set up an email automation in ConvertKit, which is part of their paid version. I'll also show you how to manually send out email blasts for free in ConvertKit. Last, I'm gonna show you how to create a nice, clean, and free link in bio link that is a nice list of all your links on one web page. So let's get started. First, we're going to customize a CNC guide to use as your free download. If you're already pretty comfortable with customizing in Canva, you can skip through this part. If you pull up this video on YouTube, you'll see that I've split this video into chapters and you can go ahead and skip to the next one. So you'll log into Coffee and Contracts, go to the dashboard and go to printables. Today, we're gonna customize the preparing your home for sale guide. So as you can see, those are right here, but if they're not, then you can just go ahead and type in preparing and hit enter and then you can choose which style you want so we have a lighter style here and a darker style there so choose whichever one you prefer and then go ahead and click open template this will pull it up in canva so just hit use template to get customizing so you'll want to scroll through and update any information as you see fit there's a few places that you'll need to drop in your information and images and if there's a page you don't want to use, you can just delete it by clicking this delete page button. Or if you want to duplicate a page, then you can hit that duplicate page button. If you have an existing seller's guide in your Canva account and you want to add any pages from that to this, you can do that with Canva Pro by just going down to the end of the page or wherever you want to add it and hit add that page button. And then you'll go over to folders Go to all your designs and you can pull in any design from there. So I'll show you an example. If I were to pull in something from the branding workbook, you just click it and it pulls it up here. You can also change all of the colors with the click of a button by hitting the element that you want to change the color of and then going and selecting your color. And then this change all thing will pop up and you just click that and it'll change the color across all the pages. I'm going to pull up this grid view, which is that button on the bottom right and you'll be able to see all of the pages at once. So you can go through and find any colors that you wanna change, click on the element, and then go ahead and change those. Another way you can do this is by going to the styles button, and you can go through any colors that Canva has set out for you. Uh, unfortunately, you can't choose your own colors right now, but you can add in your branding kit if you have Canva Pro and use those. So you can just shuffle through and change the colors, so that's another way that you could do it, but I recommend doing the first way because you'll see some elements may look a little strange. So I'm gonna undo that by just clicking this back button. Once you complete your edits, make sure you delete this first welcome page from us, and then you're gonna go ahead and download this whole thing as a PDF. So you click that download button on the top right, make sure PDF print is selected, and then just go ahead and click download. Then I want you to do this again, but I want you to drop down here and click PNG, click the pages and then unselect all of the pages and then just download page one as a PNG. We're gonna be using this in your landing page. Now you'll wanna go over to ConvertKit and either log in or sign up for a free account. You just need a free account for what we're doing unless you're gonna set up an email automation, which I'll show you both options there. So what you're gonna do is go to create new and landing page. So once you are on the page to choose your template, the one that we are gonna use is down here, it's called Siesta. This is just the example that I use, but you can use any of these that you choose. So let's find Siesta, there it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and click choose. So now it's time to customize the page to fit my branding. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove this background image. You can drop in another background image or you can just change the color to match your branding colors. Let's say that this is my branding color. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this hex code just for the example. 
and I'm gonna go through and just change everything to my branding. So anywhere where that green color is, I'm gonna put in my main branding color. So I'm just pasting it in here. And it's changed pretty much all of the colors that I was looking to change except for the buttons. So to change the color of a button, just click on the button and then you can open up, the, it'll open up this button link style and you'll change it there. So for this one, let's say I'm gonna make it a white background. I'm gonna make the font color darker. So now what you're gonna do is replace this image with your guides image. That, that was that first page that we saved. So I'm gonna hit replace and then I'm gonna upload that guide image that I had saved earlier in Canva. So now it's loaded in there and now you can customize the text here. So I'm just gonna double click on the text to rewrite it. You can add any text here. I'm just gonna leave it blank and then here I'm gonna say free download. I'm gonna just delete this text here unless you have more stuff you wanna say, maybe a little bit about you, you can add more there. But then I'm just gonna go ahead and replicate this on the bottom, I just went ahead and selected that text and copied it. Command C is the, the shortcut I'm using to copy it. Command V to paste. So once you've filled in all of the information, it is good to go. What you're gonna do next is add in your freebie. So what you're gonna do is go over to settings, go to incentive, and then where it says send incentive email, you're gonna hit edit email contents. And this is the email that's gonna be sent to them whenever they have entered in their information. So you can just change the text to something like, You can change the background color of that button too. And then once you have it ready to go, oh, I would change the subject line too to say, And now after they hit that confirm button, it's gonna redirect them here. So what you can do is go over to downloads and upload your guide here. If it says that this is too big, what you can do is upload the PDF into Dropbox or Google Drive and then attach the link here instead. Now hit publish and your landing page is live and ready to go. This is the link to your landing page. It takes a few minutes to populate, so give it like five minutes, but this will be the link that will bring them to this page. So now let's talk about setting up the subscribers on an email automation. With the free version of ConvertKit, you can manually send out emails to your subscribers in bulk. This is what ConvertKit calls broadcasts. With the paid version, which is around $9 per month, you can set up an automated email campaign. So ConvertKit calls this automations. So when someone subscribes to your list, they'll automatically receive an email from you or multiple emails over a period of time based on how you set it up. Again, if you use another CRM or email client, you may have different options. However, I'll show you how to set up both broadcasts and automations in ConvertKit. So first, let's create an email template for you to use. So you're gonna go over to send and hit email templates. So this is where you can create your email template that you can pull up anytime you're drafting an email for a broadcast or an automation. So if you wanted to add a logo up at the top, you can click this space and it'll bring up this plus button. You're gonna wanna click on that and you can drop in your logo here. Then you can add a signature at the bottom. So I'm gonna click where it says add content and hit that plus button. And this is where you can use those ConvertKit email signatures that we made for you guys. Drop in your photo and change it to your name and you can upload that here. So I'm gonna click on that image. You can add a URL to your website here and you can also change the size by bringing the width down. So 
You can make it really small and you can align it to the right or in the middle. I'd say around 600 is a good size. And then underneath here, you can click again, click to type again and click that plus button and go ahead and click on icons. Now here you can add your social media icons and here you can change the icon styles. So I like to go with circle. I can drop down here to change the color. I'm just gonna change this to black for the example. And then you can align them in the center underneath your signature. So to change your links here, click on the icons and you'll add your Facebook page URL. Let's say you don't have Twitter, you can remove that icon or you can click this drop down and add any other link here that they have. So let's say you have your YouTube that you wanna add instead, you can drop your YouTube link there and you can also rearrange them by clicking those three lines and dragging them up or down. So once you have your signature, your icons and a header, which you don't need a header, but you can, you're pretty much all set. Another thing you can do is click to change the background color. So you could change it to your brand color or you could change it to all white. Go to paragraph styles and you can change your font. So something that you want on all of your emails and you can change the color of the links that you put in your emails. And your heading styles, you can change that. So if you have a header, you can change that to a different style as well and your button style. So you can change that to your branding color. Additional styles is just to remove the convert kit badge, but you need to have the paid version to do that. So once you have this all set up, you can name it and save. Now, once you have that all done, you can send an email broadcast using this. So to send an email broadcast, you're gonna to wanna to go to send and hit broadcast. You're gonna select new broadcast. And here it pulled up that template that I just created, but you can select other ones here under this style section. So I'm gonna leave it up here and then I just click this area to add in my text. So to, you click this plus button, Go down to personalization and you can add your subscriber's first name. So when you're sending it as a blast email, it'll address everyone by their first name. So you can say, hi, first name, and then add in your email content here. You can use coffee and contracts email content here, and then you can send out emails all at once to all of your subscribers. So make sure to change the subject line up here as well and then you'll hit continue. You can send this email out to just specific people by clicking add filter. You can go to subscribe to form and find the people who have subscribed to that form that you created. You can schedule this to send on a certain time or you can just go ahead and send out an email blast whenever you're ready. So now to send out an email automation sequence, you're gonna go up to the top and hit send and hit sequences. And you're gonna need the paid version of ConvertKit for this one. So what you're gonna do is hit new sequence, add your name and hit create sequence. So now it pulls in that template that I had created. I'm switched over to my paid account. So this is a different template than the one that I was just working on. Here, you're gonna create your emails again, but you can add multiple emails because it'll be going out in a sequence. So you'll add your subject here. So let's say someone subscribed to your preparing your home for sale guide. Then you can send out like a seller targeted automation. So you can use our email drips for this or any of our email newsletters, or you can come up with them yourself, but you would edit the subject line here and then you can click here to add your content. And then if you had used that template that we just created, everything else would pretty much be set to go. You can also set it up to send a certain number of days after they have subscribed to that form. So you can send it immediately by clicking backwards to zero, or you can send it a couple days later. And then once you complete editing this email, you can hit add email and create another one. Another thing that I know people like to do is click this plus button and you can actually add a social media post from Coffee and Contracts 
in here as the content of the email. So you could create a really good sequence with a ton of different copy and contracts posts as your email. So if you wanted to change this amount of days, this will send a certain amount of days after the last email. So that one sent two days after they subscribed to the form. So then if I select to, for this one to send seven days after, then it'll send it seven days after that one. You can also change it so that it only sends on certain days of the week. So it'll send that first day that you have selected. So for example, if you did not want to send it on the weekend. Once you complete everything, you'll hit settings and then you can select update sequence. Once they are updated, you're gonna put it into the automation. So you'll click the drop down on automate and click visual automations. So what you'll do is click new automation, create automation, and it'll be joins a form. The form will be the one that you had just created for the seller's guide. Click add event, and there you have it, where people fill out the landing page, you're gonna add this plus button and add your email sequence. So we just created this one. I hit add action and we're all good. So people fill out the form and then this is what happens. They get this email two days later and then this one seven days later and it puts them through the sequence. So once you switch over to live, then you're good to go. You can send out your form and people will be subscribed to the form and then they will be subscribed to this email flow. Now that you've got your landing page completely set up, I wanna share a great resource with you. So if you have multiple links like your landing page and your website, you'll wanna create a landing page for all of your links. So with this app called Milkshake, you can very simply create this. So the instructions are here, but it's super easy. They walk you through it once you download the app. It's completely free. Just download the app and then go through these instructions and it's super user friendly and you'll be able to add in your links on a nice, clean, branded page. Since your Instagram bio will only allow one link and if you have multiple links you wanna share, this is a great resource. Um, there's a ton of other apps like this that you can check out, but I just always recommend Milkshake because it's super easy to use. All right, well, that was it. And if you get stuck or have any questions, be sure to comment on this post in the Facebook group so we can talk about it.